Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to talk about Zen Browser. Zen Browser is something I stumbled across a couple of weeks ago, and I don't know if Zen Browser's been around for a long time, but when I was in the uh, Linux Mint Software Package Manager, I stumbled across it, and I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And I found it to be really good. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to find a different browser. I was using uh, Brave. Um, I've used Firefox some, not so much. Uh, Chromium. But I was having problems. They were starting to glitch after the last update. They were having a little bit of problem. So I didn't like it so much anymore. <laughs> and I didn't want to use them. And browsers are funny things. I think that over time, after certain updates and things like that, they can start to have problems, or I've noticed that. It seems to be that way. I may be wrong, uh, and it may be something that I'm doing, of course, most likely user error of some kind. But when it got glitchy or something didn't work right, that it worked before the update, I have to assume it had something to do with the update. So uh, I'm using Linux Mint 22, Wilma, and uh, that's what I'm using uh, as my operating system. And I installed this, and I really like it. And one of the reasons why I like it is because it's got some other organizational things with it. It goes beyond just being a browser and a bunch of tabs open and off you go. It's kind of the next step, which is uh, using workspaces in a browser. And I like this. Uh, and it may be that some of these other browsers maybe had that and it wasn't obvious to me, but this just makes it obvious. Uh, they start out with a, uh, a left-hand sidebar, which is your navigation uh, between workspaces and tabs. Uh, let's just take a look. I added, comes with a default workspace, okay? This is how it shows up when you install it. But then I added uh, workspaces. I added one for the office, which is all my office stuff that would be related uh, to different things that I needed open. Uh, I have search, and then I have media, news, all sorts of different things. You could have almost as many of these as you want to. Uh, I put in some bookmarks here, so I'm going to open them up. I'm going to open up these search bookmarks in the uh, search workspace. And of course, you could open up tabs, uh, bookmarks in any workspace you wanted to. But this is how I organized it. So I called it search. So I bring up my different tabs um, in uh, the search workspace. And uh, let's go to media. I can do that too. Let's open up tabs uh, and bookmarks in media. So there's all sorts of them loading up here. So you get the idea. There's there's YouTube. Um, uh, I, I just put a bunch in here. Daily Motion, whatever, Rumble, a bit shoot, Odyssey, whatever it might be, uh, whatever strikes you. Um, so now all I have to do, if I want to go back to my office stuff or go to search, I can just change the uh, workspace. And there you go. I'm back into uh, the different search engines I may want to use. And then if I want to go back to media, I can. And boom, it's open. Now you can call these anything you want. You can add these workspaces. I like the idea of having this left-hand uh, uh, menu and keeping things ordered uh, in a more of a each grouping of things you may be doing siloed. Let's put it that way. And, you know, it, it's kind of shaped like that, so it makes sense. But it's a left-hand navigation, and I really think that's really good. Uh, makes it a lot easier. So I'm thinking of people that I've watched online when they do different things about news items, they'll have a whole bunch of different tabs open on their browser, you know, way along the top. And there'll be, you know, 30 things open. I don't know how you stay uh, organized with that. Uh, kind of a, 
uh, kludgy way of doing things when you're talking about looking at different things online uh, if you were presenting like that. This way, it's real easy. I just go to a workspace and then uh, just change it up and I'm off and running into that thing, not distracted by the other things. So uh, I like that. And I like the fact that the left-hand side has this menu uh, area that you can look at all your tabs that way instead of across the top. Some people may like it across the top, but what I found is that when I was using tabs that way, I'd have a bunch of things open and I'd go, well, I need this open. And, and pretty soon you've got so many tabs open and they, they're they not only um, kind of clumped together, but then they're also not necessarily for the same task that you're starting to achieve. You're, you're trying to maybe do search over here and you've got some business stuff over here and oh, I'm watching a financial calculator or a finance page or something like that, whatever it might be. You know what I'm talking about. You can have a whole bunch of things in an unorganized fashion, and it's hard to keep it together when you've got them all across the top. When they're all on the left in workspaces and having different workspaces for different uh, type of tasks that you're doing, it makes a lot of sense. You don't have to... Uh, uh, you don't have to go searching along the tabs. Okay, where is that? Where did I put that? Keep it in your workspaces. Create those in the Zen browser and you'll find that your life will become much simpler. So that's what I love about it right away. And, you know, the window on this is really good. I mean, it gives you plenty of room to look up what you need to look up. And it's going to give you, you know, uh, whatever... You know whatever information you have in those tabs but being able to see them on the side oh there's quant there's duck duck go there's start page it's it's labeled because one of the problems with the tabs the way they are along the top if you get too many of them on there they get crunched up and you don't know what's in that tab until you click on that tab this way you know what's there without having to uh, uh, search for it so much it really makes a lot of sense. So anyway, down here, uh, you can put this sidebar like this if you want and give yourself more room. Uh, you can also have this uh, sidebar, or not a sidebar, but a split of the uh, browser. You could look at something like social media like this and then have your just your regular browsing that you're doing. Uh, if you need to have something that's more live and current, and you want to take a look at things, uh, it gives you that opportunity to split that browser up uh, so you can look at things uh, and keep track of things, uh, whether it's social media on one side, like I say, or browsing on the other. Uh, <coughs> I don't suspect I'll be using that too much. Uh, there's also bookmarks, so you can bring those up right up there. Very easy. Instead of having to bring them up from the top menu. I just like the way this is organized so much better. Uh, you also have history that you can play around with and you know settings um, you can take care of. Uh, so to me, Zen Browser you know, does really well with all the different uh, web applications and things that I check into and it really is organized. And what's nice about this, along with all these other things, is that I only need one browser now instead of maybe a couple or three different browsers to do the same thing. I used to have things for the office in one browser and then I'd have another browser open for something else that was not related to it at all. So now with the workspaces, I can keep that uh, in their workspaces and still have one browser open and not have to have multiple browsers or multiple instances of a browser just to stay better organized. That's what I think the power of this is and these workspaces make a lot of sense. Uh, you know, when you're talking about workspaces, I mean, we've done this with our operating systems. Um, I know I love it in Linux Mint. It's very easy to use multiple uh, workspaces, that type of thing. 
This is just an idea whose time has come, I think. We're all getting used to the idea of having different workspaces and uh, I- instead of just, you know, just one screen and just a bigger screen with a lot of stuff open, it's easier just to do the workspaces, whether you're in Windows or, or Linux, whatever it is. Uh, and I suppose Mac too, even though I don't know anything about it. Uh, I'm not a Mac guy. So I like the Zen browser for these reasons. Just a second. Morning pop. It's I don't drink uh, caffeine in the morning. And I don't drink coffee, but I do like my fizzy drink. Um, anyway, uh, a better way to organize what you're doing online and being more and more of us have endless amount of stuff that is being done online rather than natively uh, in the operating system itself, it makes sense to have uh, a browser that can give you these different workspaces just like our operating system uh, does. Um, Just like it. I just, uh, I love it. And just having one browser open instead of a few to manage things. Also, not having all these tabs that are along the top that you got to search through and and they may be unrelated. And if they are, um, it, it just makes things more messy and not as clean. This is much more organized. And I think that's the power of Zen Browser. I think they did something good, which is pretty simple. Uh, I don't think they really reinvented the wheel so much as they just made it a better wheel. And I think for a lot of people, if you're using a whole bunch of tabs that are open and you have maybe 15 or something that are open, uh, check out something like this and organize it in these workspaces. I think you'll find your workflow to be better. So anyway, leave a comment and tell me what you think about uh, Zen Browser. Uh, Give it a try for yourself. Uh, I'm curious to see what others have to say. I don't know if it's been around for a long time, but I think it's a fairly new wrinkle uh, as far as these workspaces go. And uh, really, probably the best browser I've ever used in my life. I really like the organization, and I like how it works. It just works. And once again, I'm I'm a Linux Mint guy, so uh, something that just works, and I don't have to think about it, I don't have to be a hobbyist to make something work. Uh, I like that. Uh, I like to be productive, and that's that's really the whole deal. And I think this can help a lot of people be more productive, not just people like me in business, but people that are just doing casual browsing and things like that. I mean, get a little organized. You put a few minutes of work, and I mean just a few minutes of, of getting your uh, bookmarks and things where you want them and... Uh, Uh, having these uh, workspaces set up, I think you'll find it to be really convenient and just much better. I think you'll save time and energy and frustration uh, when you're talking about, uh, you know, not having multiple browsers open or a gazillion tabs or something like that and the organization of what you're doing is gone. So leave a comment. And uh, anyway, I, I think that's it. You have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.